All right, the next two problems want us to use a graphing calculator to draw a graph of each of these two equations in a standard window. Okay, now, before, before we even look at the equations, you know the two steps, right? Step one is always zoom six, and then step two we have to solve for y. And sometimes realize y can be called f of x. They mean the same thing. Okay, so let's look at the, let's look at the first one. 5x plus y equals negative 8. If I solve for y by subtracting 5x from both sides, I get y is equal to the opposite of 5x minus 8, okay? And when I put this in my calculator, come over here, let's turn the calculator on, okay, we're going to hit zoom 6 to get a standard window. Now we obviously have a graph, the last graph is still in there, but when I hit y equals and I want to get rid of that equation, I hit the clear button. See where it is right here above the exponent key? Zeus, quiet, buddy. I hit the clear button. And now I type this in. And remember, this minus in front and this minus are two different things. The one in front is actually the opposite of 5x. And then this minus is the gray key, the operation key. So when I'm typing this in, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit the opposite of 5x and then the minus key, which is in between, it makes one term, it separates one term from another, is this key, minus 8. And look on the calculator, the opposite of is a tiny little key. See how that's tiny? And the minus in the middle between two terms is much longer. Okay. And then now I hit graph, and I have the picture of my line. And notice what makes sense about this line. This line has a negative slope, right? And it should because the slope is negative 5 and the y-intercept is negative 8. If I push the trace key, the dead bug or the spider would appear on the y-value of negative 8, which is an ordered pair, would be 0, comma, negative 8. So we're done graphing that one. Okay, I hit y equals, and I'm going to clear out what's there. And now the next one that I want to graph, y equals, let me write it a little bigger, y equals 5 minus x squared. You remember what I taught you in the last problem. Whenever you see a function whose degree is 2, you're expecting a parabola. Now the first example we did, obviously we were expecting a line, and that's because x was degree 1. Got me? Here when we have degree 2, we're expecting a parabola. And I also taught you to look in front of the x squared, and if the number's negative, the graph's going to open down. So when we graph this, I'll bet we're going to get a parabola opening down. All right, y equals 5. Now, minus is in between terms, so it's the minus on the side. And then we know where to type x. It's next to the alpha key. And then to type squared, I like to hit caret and then, of course, 2. If you were raising something to the third power, of course, you would hit caret and then 3. You know, x caret 3. Okay, so we have y equals 5 minus x squared. And when I draw a graph... There is my parabola opening down. Okay? One thing to remember, always, always, always start with a standard window with zoom 6, and then step number 2 is to solve your equation for y so that when you hit the y equals key, you're all ready to type it in. And we're done.